Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to calculate a discount by hand. So we are going to write everything out without using a calculator. This will show all of the steps for calculating a discount and then the final sale price based on that discount. Let's jump into our example where we have 35% off of $78.95. Now the first thing that we need to do is to calculate the discount. So how much money will be taken off the original price? We do this by multiplying the original price by the rate of discount. The rate of discount is in the form of a percent. So we need to convert that percent to decimal form. Percent means per 100. So we divide our percent by 100 to convert it to a decimal. We can do this by simply moving the decimal twice to the left. So for our example, let's move the decimal twice to the left to change it to decimal form. So I'm going to rewrite 35% underneath here so I have enough room. Now 35%, that's a whole number. So our decimal comes at the end of a whole number. We typically don't write it in there because we do not need it with it being a whole number. Let's move it twice to the left. Once, twice. So it's going to come before the three. So we have 0 0.35. That's our decimal form of 35%. So once we have that, we take our original price, $78.95, and multiply it by that rate of discount in decimal form. So let's write that out, $78.95 times 35% in decimal form, so 0 0.35. So let's calculate that, and I'm going to come to the right in order to go through those steps. Now when we multiply decimals, we can take the decimals out and then place the decimal in the answer once we get to that point. So I'm going to take the decimals out and multiply 7, 8, 9, 5 times 35. And again, we will worry about the decimal at the end. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 2 is 47. 5 times 8 is 40 plus four is 44. And then five times seven is 35, plus four is 39. We are done with this five, and then the two, four, and four. We need our placeholder zero because we are moving one place value to the left, and now we can do three times five, which is 15. Three times nine is 27, plus one, is 28. 3 times 8 is 24, plus 2 is 26. And then 3 times 7 is 21, plus 2 is 23. So now we add here. 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1 plus 4 is 5 plus 8 is 13, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 6 is 16, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 3 is 7, and then we have a 2. So now we're ready to place our decimal. So we look back at the original problem and see how many digits are to the right of a decimal, or how many digits are behind a decimal. Well, we have one, two, three, four. So that's how many digits are going to be to the right of the decimal in our answer. So we can count off one, two, three, four digits. Our decimal is going to be placed in between the seven and the six. So we get, let me rewrite this without the lines underneath. So we get 27.6325. Now we are working with money, so we need to round this 
to the hundredths place. We have a three in the hundredths place. Look at the digit to the right, we have a two. That two says we stay the same, so we are going to get $27.63. So $78.95 times 0 0.35, I ran out of room here, so I'm going to write it above. That gives us $27.63. So that's our discount. That's how much money we are taking off the original price. That's 35% of $78.95. So once we have that information, we can subtract that discount from the original price. So the original price minus the discount. We are taking the discount off of the original price. The original price, 78 95 and we are subtracting 2763. So let's see what our sale price is going to be. Now when we subtract decimals, we need to line the decimals up. So I'm going to calculate this to the right. So we have $78 and 95 cents minus $27.63. So the decimals are lined up and that's going to line up all of our places. Let's start by subtracting the hundredths. So five minus three gives us two. Then we have nine minus six, that's three. We bring our decimals straight down. It's lined up throughout the entire problem. Eight minus seven, one, and then seven minus two, which is five. So we get 51.32. So $51.32. So that is going to be our sale price. So let me rewrite that. $51.32. This is our final sale price. $51.32. So there you have it. There's how you calculate a discount by hand. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.